but yes and as i said it's an agricole rum so it's made of uh sugar cane juice yeah it has quite mm, quite a lot of licks i don't know if you can see that I'm Dongan here. Hello everyone. So today I will be looking at another rum and uh, I've really been looking forward to this one. It has really difficult name to pronounce for me. So I hope I get it right. I have my notes here. I always research the distilleries and the, uh, the spirits that I'm drinking. Uh, I never look into the taste. I want to make up my own mind in that regard. But I always try to look into the uh, to the rum and to the distillery. Today I have um, this little beauty and um, now I'm gonna jump into trying to pronounce this. It's French, that's why I have difficulty pronouncing it. But Demiso is how I say it. It looks like this, Demiso. Maybe it's completely wrong, maybe it's uh, close. I know it's not French accent, but I don't know. Uh, that's the family name. That's what the distillery is called. And it's, as you would have guessed, it's family owned. So yeah, but this is the Demiso XO and it costs around 520 Danish crowns for 70 centiliters. It is 42% alcohol and it is unfortunately chill filtered and artificially colored. So, but it could be good anyway. Um, 520 Danish crowns is 50 to 60 american dollars pounds europe so just in that range mid mid 50s 60s something around that um it is an agricole rum and it's made from uh, fresh sugarcane uh, juice um and it has aged for a minimum i don't know what that means but other than so all of the rum could be six years old it it has aged for a minimum of six years in ex bourbon cask so if that means that all of the rum has been in those ex bourbon casks for six years or it's just a mixture of 10 12 maybe even 18 or 21 year old rum i don't know um couldn't tell they don't they have i couldn't find it anyway just said minimum six years um, the family, Demiso, has owned this distillery since 1942 when Roger, a guy named Roger Demiso, bought it. And it is located on an island called uh, Guadalupe, uh, which is a French department uh, north of Barbados, north of Venezuela, um, in that region where all those small islands lie. Um, so now you have an, uh, kind of an idea as to where it is. So yeah, now it was just a little bit of history, a little bit of, uh, uh, info about the distillery and, uh, yeah, now let's get into the most important stuff, which is the nosing and tasting. And today, again, I'm using the beautiful, beautiful Luigi Bordemioli glasses. Um, there's no sponsored content in this video. And as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. So, yeah, just to get that, just to clear that up, um, if you have another idea or opinion than I have, then that is just fine. But, yes, and as I said, it's an agricole rum, so it's made of uh, sugar cane juice. Yeah. It has quite, mm, quite a lot of licks. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, by the way, I'm still not happy about my setup because there's a window right there where the sun comes in. That's why the light up here is a little bit weird. So I don't know what to do about that yet other than I could buy something to block out the window, but I'm not really sure yet. A lot of sugar, a lot of honey. Very sweet, but there's also um, some sharpness and a little bit of kick. Actually, there's a lot of sharpness. 
to some caramel notes. And I'm also getting some kind of um, vanilla and wood uh, note, I'll just hint of it. That makes me think that it, a good portion of the rum has been in those ex-bourbon casks for more than six years, but... Mm. It has quite a bit of kick to it. Actually, not in the nose, but when I um, just gently nose it, I actually can feel it all the way down into my throat. Yeah, very sweet, but with sharpness and a little bit of um, oak, just a little bit. So, cheers. Mmm. The palate is actually quite smooth, except for on the inside of the uh, cheeks, it's sharpness. But when you swallow, there's a lot more sharpness on the tongue. So the finish is sharp on the tongue, the palate is sharp on my um, my cheeks, on the inside of my cheeks. It's still just a lot of sweetness, a lot of caramel, vanilla, honey, um, but the finish is actually quite long even though the flavors are not that powerful it's just sweetness upon sweetness upon sweetness with that sharpness as well maybe there's a little bit of spice probably from that wood and there's also a feeling of um some kind of caramel cake or biscuits Coconut now, actually, and uh, fruits, just exotic fruits, and then sweetness again, a lot of sweetness. But the sharpness have, has, of course, it's not there anymore at the second sip. Sharpness is the same as before, but just less. Cheeks on the palate, tongue at the finish. In some ways, it's, it's kind of dry, but it's also, it's a weird, because it's dry. Yeah, on the um, cheeks and between the teeth and lip and they're dry, but it's mouth-watering. My tongue is just... That's a little bit interesting, actually. And then just honey, caramel, a little bit of vanilla, a lot of sweetness. Not just the honey sweetness, but just sugar, sugary. A um, little bit of coconut, a little bit of exotic fruit, and um, a tiny, tiny hint of... Uh, spice or oak yeah that's what i'm getting it's not it's not bad it's actually pretty good but i like i like it to be more at the flavors more powerful and less sweet i like the bitterness from the wood i like the uh, spice from the wood um and I do like sweet rum, but it has to have the other other things as well. So, yeah. So it's not for me this rum, but it's still a pretty good rum. Um, let's put this at a. Uh, I'm putting this at a six point five. So yeah, the Demiso X. Oh, if I say it correctly, it's a 6.5 for me. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to share it with friends and family. And uh, 
thumbs up also if you don't like it thumbs down that's fine too please comment i will respond to all comments um whether you ask a question i will respond if you have ideas to new videos i will definitely respond and uh if you just have a general comment i will also answer those so uh please do so um if you like this video and want to see more of it uh please subscribe and um maybe hit the bell button so you don't miss out uh, please check out my Instagram, it's Dongan underscore, just see what's going on there, if you like it, then um, then give me a follow there also, if, uh, if you want to. Um, during this week, I'm actually going to Rome on Saturday, so I hope I can, I have the time to do two Rome videos in this week. I will do one, for sure, on Friday. I hope I can do another Tuesday or Wednesday. That's my plan. And after that, then uh, the Iliac cask strength I have up there. Uh, the birthday present from my dad. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.